kidding me? So we're doing this day by day series. This is day uno. This is day one. Trying to get these two boats. We're telling where we're at, right? No. No. To a river, <laughs> float down, try to kill a bear. Apparently we're not telling where we're at. How tough are those? How huh? tough? I just gotta go through there this day. Tough. Tough. I'm not pulling. Anyway, so yeah. So this is day one. We've got about a, what do we got? 10 hour drive maybe, something like that in front of us to get there. We're gonna pick up Troy. We're gonna pick up um, Crawford. Mike Crawford. He's going with us. It'll be great to see that guy. And this is day one. All you're gonna see today is time lapses of us driving and then like little interviews in between of us saying, well, we're here now. Well, we're here now. And you guys will get really, really old and sick of it. So what sort of a redneckery we got going on here? Well, this trailer, I'm not, I don't know. The ground wire came off and I undid the nut for the ground wire to put it, you know, just throw another wire on to get me through. Well, I just barely twisted it, it stripped off. So I'm just gonna just wire it back to one of these just to ground it out. But then I try to undo this and it just spins, which is not awesome. We're just gonna just put it right to the chain. Hook it to the chain, loop it around, duct tape it, run with it. We're going with it. Full send. Full send on tape and wrap. And fixed it. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go hunting. Yeah, better not get in my face. What's up, boys? We're standing at the border where history is made. Cody, anticipation's killing me. Um, did you create it? Nothing came up when I did that. Nothing? No. Did you actually apply, Trent? Pretty sure. What's your. Nearly positive. Um, try my regular one. You said it was from Brady's tax that he got? Yeah, did you see it right there? Just hold on. Are you gonna like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna quiz me? Like with uh, simple questions and I guess yes or no? Or what do you wanna do? I don't know. Or do you wanna just say? I hit the search button and hit the squirrel because you gotta identify your spam. Squirrel? It says pending. Drawing results. Brady Miller, I'm coming with you. Yes, you are. Am I? Yeah, I drew it. Yeah, you drew it. See how awesome I am? Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to wreck. Awesome. So, Brady, we're going hunting. I'll text you too, but uh, you'll see this video in a couple weeks. We're going we're, we're, we're gonna to be doing this. My first mule deer uh, rifle hunt. That'll be fun. Yeah, it's awesome. It'll be awesome. Talk to me, big dog. What's up, champ? How we doing? True. Did you figure out your drew yet? Are you ready to go chase some mule tails around? Oh snap! Oh snap! <laughs> yeah. Daddy this got a tag, good. brother. This is gonna get good. This is gonna get real good. Did you draw? I, I drew a tag as well. Yes. Oh my yeah. goodness. Two two hundred and twenty inch bucks going to hit the ground, guaranteed. Oh, yeah, you better. Oof. Fork and horns, three points. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm the first fork and horn I say I'm going to shoot, but yeah, at the same time, it's going to have to be like two, two ten somewhere. You said they're big. All right, buddy, have a great day, and um, I'll talk to you soon. All right, catch you later. All right, see, ya. see ya. Yes, got one. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. 
too. Yeah. Mike, Leslie. how you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. Good to see you. You too. What are you doing filming me, man? I'm not huh? paid. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to film you. Good, good to see, see you. you. Can't hey, wait. We're going to have some fun. Troy, nice Troy. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Black Pleasure. Crawford. Nice to meet you. You ready to have some fun? Yes. It's beautiful where we're headed. I don't doubt it a bit. It's beautiful. Minus the Brown River. I was going to say, go right down here. You can see the rivers yeah. out across the Yeah. Place. It's, uh, it's going to be high. But we'll figure it out. It's just going to be fast. That's the problem. It's, like... it's going to be just, just getting pulled over. I think yeah. it's going to be the difficult yeah. thing is getting it stopped and having someone jump out you know, catch the boat. And I think it's going to be yeah. the biggest hurdle that we're going to have. Other than that, I don't think it should be too bad. Yeah, well, the beaches are all underwater. Yeah. So then maybe there'll be new beaches. Brush lines. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> grab, just grab a tree yeah. on the way by. Well, guys, so I am really, really excited. Um, not only we're going to go bear hunting in some just beautiful country, but my good buddy Mike Crawford, who when I ran Full Drop Film Tour, pretty much was my road mate for better part of a decade. Um, we hit the road, drove all over the West Coast, putting on shows. So Mike's a retired school teacher and uh, lives over in this part of the country and said, hey, what are you doing? He said, uh, I'm going with you. So the cool thing is, is he's never done this trip before. So gets to see some new country, even though he's been around here most of his life. So uh, great guy. Can't wait to show you guys more about Mike and what he's all about. Oh my goodness. Did you uh, get a chance to look at the uh, H2O down there? Let's take a little field trip. The hardest thing is what we're talking about is like knowing where to go uh, with our maps. So like onyxing, okay, we have to be around this corner. We have to, okay, to be pulled over. And when you got a river, look at how fast this thing's moving. This is what we're looking at. Wow, look at that. And it's flooded. We just gotta just kinda be, I think in communication with each other, where we're pulling over, where we're stopping, just for a safety issue. Because if you go past one spot here, you will be flying down the river. So it's 4.45, we just rolled into the boat ramp and uh, we're not like fast on anything, especially packing. So it's at least another hour here. We kind of all looked at each other like, well, let's just stay here tonight. We'll, we'll head down and make camp tomorrow that way because it's high flows right now. And if we miss a camp spot, chances are trying to find one um, or if there's another boat where we want to camp, pretty uh, tough to get over. So we're gonna sleep here tonight. We're gonna record a podcast and uh, have a jolly time. So tomorrow morning we'll be on the water bear hunting. Yeah. What are you? Oh my goodness! It's got looks like a men's headlamp. shaving club in here. This is batteries and ribbon and a lighter with electrical tape and cord. There's Back nothing in here shave that you club? don't have. Huh? There's no. nothing in here that you don't have. You're right. Well, yeah, there is. I Yours don't have... is just see, somewhere. The, the, see, this is where you get your weight, like your heavy hand warmers and stuff like that. That's where you're getting your weight from. And then there are hand warmers. Full in there, deodorant a and full. I don't. There's a lot going on there. There's, there's not. Do you have a toothbrush and toothpaste? Yeah. Did you, what, did you hey, cut what your else handle? We got? You what cut your else handle off? We got in here? I don't cut my handle off. You cut your handle off? Let's see no. it. And then there's my dry bag. And the dry bag's got a couple pieces of clothing and a sleeping bag and here. No, I'm just gonna lift it and just check it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Is it just that? I think a lot of it's just an extra bulk. A lot of bulk. I got no, a big old, my sleeping bag takes up a lot of room. Does it? Uh, yeah, that's the one thing. It's a good sleeping right. bag. It's just, it's like this. Got to stay warm. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. Look at that, what we got going on here. Just a real menagerie. You think we're going on an Arctic adventure for six months. <laughs> Are you <kidding>? Iceberg! <laughs> Alright guys, so we are uh, at the uh, launch point here tomorrow and uh, we're going to do something that's probably really stupid, but I'm going to take a pair of boots out of the box and I'm going to do a comparison of this boot and this boot over the course of the next five days. So this is uh, the Summit, I've ran this boot for like three years now 
and love it. And this is kind of like the new hybrid of this Summit. And uh, it basically is a little beefed up boot. So this is a Flex 4. It's got the ABS where this does not. Um, so it's a little bit more rugged in the ankle. I'm gonna basically put this thing on tomorrow, hike up the hill and uh, put it to the test. So uh, in the course of the next five days, I'm gonna kind of find the winner that I'm gonna run for elk season. So that's where we're at. We're gonna do a side by side, like I said, head to head, the crispy summit and the crispy Colorado. So see how it goes. Wish me luck. Okay, so the two boots that I brought, the two crispy boots that I brought are the Nevadas. I just got these last week and I've worn them, I don't know, one or two times on just some small hikes and really, really like them so far. The one, the other boots that I'm bringing with me were the GTXs, the guides they're called. These have seen some, they've seen some, uh, some miles. I did the uh, Land of the Free 1.0 and just these boots pretty much. Um, so yeah, they've seen a lot of miles, but they're broken. They're great. They didn't really take any break in time and um, they've always been dry for me. So that's a big thing. I like a taller boot. I'm not, that's what I'm kind of wondering is how tall the grass is going to be and how that's going to go the tall versus the shorter boot. So it'll be good. It'll be a comparison. And uh, I really have fell in love with these boots lately. So I don't even know if I'll bust these out. Um, it just depends on how my feet feel in these. So that's the boot, two boots that I've got and that I'm going to wear and um, should be a good trip. All right, guys, it's the end of day one. We uh, made a little trek over here. Made it. Yeah, made it. And uh, the best part about it is like hearing the river right here, hearing the frogs, looking Trent's at the snoring. green. snoring. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's not yet. That's here in like 45 minutes. <laughs> yes. Um, but tomorrow morning, we're going to start basically the real day one of the Predator series. So we, we did uh, Land of the Free 2.0. We did the Drift series. We're bringing the Predator series to you. So this is going to be a day by day of us on a spring bear hunt. Um, we're here next week. We're going to be back home hunting the coast with the Land of the Free 2.0 bear hunt winners, Daniel and his brother. So we're super stoked, super stoked to just share our adventures here. Oh, so uh, our favorite time of the year sometimes is this spring season, getting out, getting a glass. We're out of shape. We're in no hurry to be anywhere. We're just gonna go get there when we get there. Right? Stretch our legs. Stretch, Stretch our, legs. our legs. And th and this is such a oh, it's it, it's crazy. Like the drive that we had over to go from the rainforest, Oregon coast, to desert, to mountains, to snow, to this. It's yeah. just nuts. It's pretty pretty special Beautiful. country over here. Beautiful. So. so Oregon is super diverse. Yep. But yeah, predator series coming at you right now. Fang tooth claw. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I get it? <laughs>